Hello everyone. Welcome back to yet another episode of Med Surge Mentor. The prostate is a part of the male reproductive system which is located low in pelvis below the bladder and just in front of the rectum. It is about the size and shape of a walnut. Today let's see a condition which is affecting prostate and that is benign prostatic hyperplasia. Benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH is an enlargement of the prostate caused by an overgrowth of cells or hyperplasia in the prostate. Etiology of benign prostatic hyperplasia The etiology of BPH is influenced by a wide variety of risk factors in addition to direct hormonal effects of testosterone on prostate tissue. As men age, the amount of active testosterone in blood reduces while estrogen levels remain same. These changes can trigger hyperplasia. Next one is role of dihydrotestosterone. Older men have increased levels of dihydrotestosterone which is responsible for prostate development. Major risk factors of benign prostatic hyperplasia are aging, family history, lifestyle, abdominal obesity, diabetes and heart disease, not getting enough physical activity and use of drugs like beta blockers. Pathophysiology of benign prostatic hyperplasia Due to factors like aging, the enzymes aromatize and 5-alpha reductase increase their activity. This 5-alpha reductase enzyme helps in production of dihydrotestosterone and estrogen. Due to this, both glandular epithelial cells and the stromal cells undergo hyperplasia and will enhance prostatic growth. Gradually, the lumen of the prostatic urethra narrows and lengthens, which results in progressive outflow obstruction and increased pressure associated with micturition. Major clinical features of benign prostatic hyperplasia are Frequent or urgent need to urinate Increased frequency of urination at night or nocturia Weak urine stream or stream that stops and starts Difficulty starting urination Dribbling at the end of the urination Inability to completely empty the bladder Urinary tract infection Inability to urinate And blood in the urine Diagnostic measures done to rule out BPH are Urine test Digital rectal examination Prostate specific antigen blood test Urodynamic and pressure flow studies, post void residual volume test, 24 hour voiding diary, transrectal ultrasound, cystoscopy, and prostate biopsy. Complications of BPH are kidney damage, bladder stones, bladder damage urinary tract infections, and urinary retention. Drugs used in the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia are alpha blockers such as alphazosin and psilodosin, 5-alpha reductase inhibitors like finasteride and detasteride, combination drug therapy using alpha blockers and 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, and Tadalafil. Now let's move on to the surgical management of benign prostatic hyperplasia. And the first one is minimally invasive prostate resection. It is a surgery to remove a part of the prostate gland to treat an enlarged prostate. The surgery will improve the flow of the urine through the urethra. 
Next surgical procedure is called transurethral resection of prostate or TURP. This is carried out using a device called resectoscope, which is a thin metal tube containing a light camera and a loop of wire. This is passed along the urethra until it reaches the prostate and the surgeon removes the section of the prostate that is causing the symptoms. This procedure relieves symptoms quickly and after TURP, a temporary catheter is used to drain the bladder. Next procedure is transurethral incision of prostate. A lighted scope is inserted into the urethra and the surgeon makes one or two small cuts in the prostate gland, making it easier for the urine to pass through the urethra. This is an option for small or moderately enlarged prostate gland, especially if there is a health problem that makes the other surgeries too risky. Next procedure is transurethral microwave thermoplasty. In this procedure, surgeon inserts a special electrode through the urethra into the prostate area. Microwave energy from the electrode destroys the inner portion of the enlarged prostate gland, shrinking it and easing the urine flow. This procedure is only used in small prostates and will only partially relieve the symptoms. Next procedure is transurethral needle ablation. In this procedure, a scope is passed into the urethra, allowing surgeon to place needles into the prostate gland. Radio waves will be passed through the needles, heating and destroying excess prostate tissue that is blocking urine flow. Another procedure is prostatic urethral lift. In prostatic urethral lift, special tacks are used to compress the sides of the prostate to increase the flow of urine. This procedure is recommended in patients with lower urinary tract symptoms. Next procedure is embolization. In this procedure, the blood supply to or from the prostate is selectively blocked causing the prostate to decrease in size. Next surgical technique is laser therapy. In this procedure, high energy laser destroys or removes overgrown prostate tissue. This laser is used to melt away excess prostate tissue and enlarge the urinary channel. And the last surgical technique is open or robot assisted prostatectomy. Open prostatectomy is done if there is a very large prostate, bladder damage or other complicating factors. In robotic prostate surgery, miniaturized robotic instruments are passed through the several small keyhole incisions in the patient's abdomen. The enlarged prostate is eventually removed through one of the keyhole incisions. Now let's move on to the preventive measures of benign prostatic hyperplasia. They are limit caffeine and alcohol, follow a healthy diet, stay active, maintain a healthy weight, schedule regular bathroom visits, limit decongestants or antihistamines, do regular exercises including pelvic flow exercises, Eat large variety of fruits and vegetables. Avoid liquids a few hours before bedtime. Practice double voiding if you have symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, which means urinate when there's urge and then urinate again few moments later. This helps to relax few moments and then urinate again. Nursing diagnosis for patients with benign prostatic hyperplasia. They are impaired urinary elimination pattern, retention related to mechanical obstruction, acute pain related to bladder distension, 
Activity intolerance related to pain and urinary urgency. Impaired sleeping pattern related to frequent nocturia. Fear and anxiety regarding possibility of surgical procedure. Knowledge deficit regarding disease condition. And risk for deficient fluid volume related to reduced fluid intake. Nursing cares for patients with benign prostatic hyperplasia are Assess vital signs and monitor the signs of infection Encourage patient to avoid every 2-4 to four hours or whenever feeling full Encourage oral fluids up to 3000 ml daily if not contraindicated Schedule regular bathroom breaks Ensure proper personal hygiene and teach regarding urinary tract infection prevention. Teach pelvic flow exercises. Provide catheter care and monitor intake output. Limit consuming too much fluids before bedtime. Advice to remain active and to consume healthy diet. And administer medications like 5-alpha reductase and antibiotics. Today we have seen regarding the condition benign prostatic hyperplasia. It is an enlargement of the prostate caused by overgrowth of cells in the prostate. Hormonal changes play a major role in the development of this disease condition. Common clinical features are frequent or urgent need to urinate, difficulty in initiating urine flow, urinary tract infection and inability to urinate. This condition could be managed by drugs and surgeries like transurethral resection of prostate. Hope this video was informative. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.